And this little guy is called The Ballad of the Shooting of Dan Mahoo. <coughs> A bunch of the boys were hooping it up in the Malamute saloon. The kid that handles the music was hitting a jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo going sat dangerous Dan McGrew, and watching his luck was his light of love, the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was 50 below, and into the din and the glare, there stumbled a miner, fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave and scarcely the strength of a louse, yet he tilted a poke of dust on the bar and called for drinks for the house. It was none good place, the stranger's place. But we searched ourselves for a clue, but we drank his health, and the last to drink was dangerous, damned mother. There's men that somehow just grip your eye cold and hard like a spell, and such was he that he looked to me like a man who'd lived in hell, with a face most hair and a dreary stare of a dog whose day is done, as he watered the green stuff in his glass, and the drops fell one by one. I got to figure who he was, and I wondered what he'd do, and I turned my head and there watching him was the lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering round the room. He seemed in kind of a daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink. There was no one else on the stool. So the stranger stumbles across the room and flops down there like a fool. With the buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat and I saw him set sway. And he clutched the keys with his talon hands. My God, how that man could play. Were you ever out in grace alone when the moon was awful clear and the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you most could hear with only the howl of a timber wolf and you camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world, clean mad for the muck called gold, Well, high overhead, green, yellow, and red, the northern lights swept in bars, then knew the hunch what the music meant. Hunger, night, stars, and hunger, not of the belly kind that's vanished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for a home and all that it needs, for a fireside far from the cares that are, four walls and a roof above, an old so crammed full of cozy joy and crowned with a woman's love, a woman dearer than all the world and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through the roof, the lady snow is loose. Then on a sudden, the music changed. So soft, just scarce could eat. But it felt like your life had been looted clean of all that you once held dear, that someone had stolen the woman you loved, that her love was a devil's lie. Her guts were gone, and the best for you was to crawl away and die. It was the crowning cry of a heart's despair, and it thrilled me through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread misery, said Angel Stan. The music almost died away, then it burst like a pent-up flood, and it seemed to say, repay, repay, and my eyes went blind with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong, and it stung like a frozen lash, and the lust arose to kill, to kill, and the music stopped with the crash. And the stranger turned, and his eyes, they burned in a most peculiar way. In the buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat and I saw him sway. Then his lips went in in a kind of grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm. And boys, said he, you don't know me, and none of you care a damn. But I want to state, and my words are straight, and I'll bet my hope they're true That one of you is a hound to hell And that one is Dan McGrew Then I ducked my head and the lights went out And two guns blazed in the dark And a woman screamed And the lights went out And two men lay stiff and stark 
pitched on his head and pumped full of lead was dangerous Dan McGrew. For the man from the creeks lay clutched to the breast of the lady of snow. These are the simple facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and I'm not denying it, so I'm not so wise as the lawyer guys, but strictly between us two, the woman who kissed him and pinched his cloak was the lady that's known as Lou. Robert Service, ladies and gentlemen, the ballot of the shooting of Dan McGrew. We appreciate your support. I am the live bard. You can check that out on the website. A pleasure to perform before you today. Thank you.